While neighbors rebuild in Manhattan after the flood, city officials are announcing now that FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, will not be providing money to help. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in Manhattan this morning to explain why city leaders are hoping that people will come together to pick up the slack. Brittany, federal loans are available for the flood victims, but the city officials that I talked to say that they're really hoping that city, uh, the city of Manhattan will come together to help their neighbors. 327 people and just over 100 homes were affected by the flooding here in Manhattan earlier this month. The Greater Manhattan Community Foundation has raised more than $11,000 for flood victims, but much more is needed and city officials say they need someone to take up the cause. If somebody wants to step up and organize some sort of fundraising effort or a furniture drive or, or some other means to help these members of our community, a total of 327 who are impacted, it would, do, it would do a lot to help make them whole again. Community groups like Shepherds Crossing, the United Way, the Salvation Army, and the Catholic Charities in Manhattan are part of a long-term recovery committee that has been addressing individual people's needs. These are even more important now that the individual damage from the flood has not re reached the threshold for FEMA support. But again, more help is needed. City officials tell me that the city itself is not able to fundraise, and while the work that the foundation has done has been amazing, this sort of fundraising and uh, disaster relief is a little bit outside of their wheelhouse. So they're really looking for individuals or another organization to come up and take up the charge. Live in Manhattan, James Ryan, KSNT News. All right, thank you, James, for bringing us that update this morning. People affected by the flood can also apply for a small interest federal loan through the Small Business Association. The association in Manhattan uh, through the end of the week is accepting those, but people can also apply for those loans online. All of the information is up on our website right now, ksnt.com.